What is going on AMC investors? Welcome back to the channel everyone guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking entirely about AMC Entertainment. AMC has some of the most bullish indicators that I've seen in a very, very long time. That is not only in relation to the chart that looks extremely bullish, but also to the news and all the data that's coming out as far as option flow goes and everything like that is looking extremely bullish for AMC Entertainment. So guys, in today's video, the question that we're going to be answering could this MOS finally be happening or at the very least, could the MOS finally be near? We're going to take a look at all of this data to answer that question the best that we possibly can. So if all that sounds interesting, guys, make sure and stay tuned for this entire video. Make sure and subscribe to the channel. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a beat. And super quick, guys, before we get into the video, if you are looking for another brokerage that is a non-PFOF brokerage, stay away from those, my AMC investors. You are just giving your money pretty much back to the head funds. Anyways, though, I moved all of my money out of those PFO of brokerages like Robinhood and like Weeble, and I moved it over to a brokerage called Moomoo. Moo. Right now, there are so many benefits, including up to $400 in free stock. So check out that link in the description below. And also, if you guys are looking for a private Discord community where we trade options and crypto every single day of the week, come join us. That link is in the description below. Getting into it, though, take a look at this chart, guys. Let me explain what I'm looking at here. So first off, one of the main things that I look at for AMC Entertainment is these triangles because AMC loves to break out of these triangles. Now, it's not always in a positive direction. Sometimes it is negative, but nevertheless, these horizontal triangles can be very, very bullish indicators for AMC Entertainment. And actually, there was a very large and long triangle that actually got us out of this bottom zone around $9 and $10 per share and shot us way up to about $70 per share. But as we can see, even from that point on, we have seen many triangles that I've left on this graph for AMC Entertainment. But most recently, we've had this triangle, which AMC broke out and immediately had a mini, mini squeeze to about $50 per share where it then was rejected. But anyways, you can see the triangle starting to form again, and it is not yet complete. But when it is, we could possibly break out towards the upwards direction for AMC Entertainment. All I did was draw a line from here to here to see how high we went from the last breakout, and I moved that over to here, and that puts us at over $66 per share which puts us in this very special zone. When we start getting above 60, above $70 per share, even to 80 and $100, that is when this squeeze could really be forced to happen. There's a number out there. We're not exactly sure of this number, but there is a number where these banks, whoever is going to margin call these hedge funds, they're going to say, look, you owe all this back and they're going to have to buy back all of those AMC shares at that price and as higher as none of us apes actually sell. What is that price? That is the answer to the equation equation, but through everything we've been looking at over the last several months, literally almost a year now, that puts the price at somewhere around $70 to $100 per share where we could see these hedge funds get liquidated. That is where they get very sketched out. That is where they do everything in their power to drop the price of AMC once it gets up past that $60 and $70 and even up to $100 per share. And a simple technical breakout could get us up to those numbers. But there's another thing that could get us up there that I think looks even more bullish than this chart. And as you guys can see from this Twitter post here, it says AMC, big money trying to push the stock up. Get ready, all bullish flow. It says largest flow for AMC. This is obviously the options chain. As you can see, look at all of these call options, 42 to $47 strike prices, all coming in early 2022. And these are absolutely massive amounts of premium spent. There is a ton of money, a ton of green money flowing into AMC Entertainment that looks extremely bullish. And if we jump over to Stonko Tracker, this is where it gets even better because as we can see this is today friday 11 12 we have 174,000 call options expiring out of the money obviously this could be where it ends unless something crazy happens with amc throughout the day here but more than likely this friday it is not going to happen but when we take a look at the next week or even other weeks where we get over 100,000 call options expiring in the money if we just have a little squeeze up just a little breakout of that triangle up a lot of these call options could go from out of the money into in the money and once we have over a hundred thousand call options expiring in the money on a specific day that could immediately cause a gamma squeeze like we have been talking about and what does a gamma squeeze do well that could push us up to maybe 50 60 70 even up to a hundred dollars per share but what happens when we once we get to those levels that is when we could trigger the short squeeze to actually happen the goal here is is to get to that 70 to 100 dollars per share and then everything else is going to take care of itself that's going to happen from us coming in that's going to happen from fomo investors 
pullers, gamma squeezes, technical breakouts, all of that stuff could push us to those squeeze type of numbers, somewhere around 70 to $100 per share. And when that happens, that's when we could see the short squeeze actually happen. But important dates here, 1119, as we can see, tons of call or tons of possible call options to expire in the money if the price goes up. Also, 1217 here, and then even into early next year, we have 121 here with almost almost 300,000 call options, 124,000 of them already in the money. This could be one of the best days looking forward here. But anyways, though, let's move on because there's some other very good stuff as well. So we have right here breaking. This was a couple days ago, but I want to share it with you guys. It says AMC to consider doing NFTs in conjunction with major titles. So basically how I understand this and how most people understand it is that with these major movies, you can get special tickets that ultimately you can get an NFT that's in relation to that movie. And as we can see, you're jumping to the next post. This was pretty much confirmed here just 13 hours ago on the phone AMC it says mark just confirmed the nft derivative he meant dividend theory so it says on a twitter call set up here mark was struggling to make a point he wanted to make and basically caved he admitted he has been in talks with adam aaron to to get him to make nft dividends and put a stop to all of this now to this point adam aaron has not said if he is going to do this or not we haven't got any confirmation yet but nevertheless this is all extremely bullish for amc stock and don't get me wrong this is going to take time they need people to develop this stuff and it is going to take time but nevertheless this is also extremely bullish moving forward for amc entertainment stock but getting into something here that i think is very very important we have a lot of fud starting to pick up dramatically i mean i just typed in amc stock here and take a look at all this of course we have a nice motley full article here we won't even uh, pay attention to that but you can see tesla and amc insiders are selling and they're not the only ones amc stock how the apes reacted to these events Events. And we can actually open that article here and it says AMC stock did not respond well to earnings that were far from disastrous. Obviously, the earnings were pretty good, but they're trying to scare investors here saying that uh, that AMC investors aren't happy with what is happening. Obviously, one is the Adam Aaron factor. He did say that he's going to sell some of his personal AMC shares in the fourth quarter. Keep this in mind because we're going to look at this in just a minute. And in addition to that, it is saying that AMC is losing steam online, which guys just type in AMC on the internet. Just type it in on Twitter. I mean, stock twits, Reddit, anywhere you want. AMC is not losing any steam. In fact, I think it has picked up dramatically just over the last one week. But getting into it, into why I think this is all just completely FUD, starting here with Adam Aaron. It says here, this is a tweet from him. He is so honest. It is just unbelievable. It says 62. 5% of my annual pay is AMC stock, not cash. I hadn't sold even one AMC share in six years. I publicly said months ago and again Monday, now at age 67, it's prudent to diversify assets for estate planning, which is 100% true on everything. You already told about the, us about this months ago, and it makes 100% sense to get some of his assets out of AMC as he moves towards retirement. But take a look at the last line here in all caps. I still have well over two. 2 million owned and granted AMC shares. Guys, at this price, that is almost $100 million in AMC Entertainment. As he says here, he still believes in AMC. There is no doubt about it. Nobody would risk $100 million for no one if they didn't believe in what they were doing. So this is very important. And obviously, he is growing this company substantially in just the last several months. And I'll end it here, guys. We are not losing this battle. No matter how it looks, no matter how long that we stay stagnant here, it costs us nothing to hold our shares. And it costs the hedge funds money every single day to hold on to those short positions. Like it says here, GameStop, AMC short sellers lose more than 10 billion with a B dollars as the year ends. That is a massive amount of money. And that is all caused by us retail investors stealing money from the hedge fund. So shout out to every single one of you. And like I said, I do not think AMC is going anywhere. They continue to have more and more good news coming out that's strengthening the company fundamentally, even though we're not here for a fundamental play. Regardless though, strengthening the company is going to help us get longer. More investors are going to come in and it's going to force this short squeeze to happen even sooner. But it says big news here as promised many new ways now to pay online at amc entertainment they accept all this different stuff bitcoin ethereum bitcoin cash litecoin all of these other ways and it says incredibly they already account for 14 percent of our total online transactions it says dogecoin is next and we did hear that shiba could be coming to the platform so guys adam aaron is absolutely killing it with amc he's doing incredible stuff 
all of this FUD going around about him selling his shares. He believes in this company to the max. I truly believe that. And he shows it by what he does. He is using all the money that he raised from us investors to do good things with the company. Like I said, the company is getting stronger fundamentally. And also this squeeze is getting closer and closer. All it takes, guys, is a little something to happen. A gamma squeeze from all of these options expiring in the money in the next couple of months here. All it takes is just a little push up from a technical breakout. And we could see AMC hit those numbers where they could get liquidated. $70 to $100 per share. I think it's somewhere around there. Guess what happens? Once they get liquidated, the rest takes care of itself. Small banks first, medium banks, big banks, or should I say hedge funds, small hedge funds, medium hedge funds, and big hedge funds, they start to get liquidated, and the rest is pretty much history. The price will continue to go up as long as none of us apes actually sell. Take your profit whenever you want, and the rest it is what it is, guys. That is all it takes there. We just need to get that squeeze up. So could it be near? Yes, it 100% could be. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. Make sure to do your own research first. This is just strictly my opinion, but thank you you guys so much for watching make sure and subscribe to the channel turn on those bell notifications come join us in that discord get over to momo and get out of robin hood and weeble and as always guys i will see you in the next video